Hey, what's up guys, Rob Satch from Feedback Ranch. I'm gonna show you how we do a setup in Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere 2023. How do you make like really nice using the Adobe libraries? How do you make the colors? How do you put colors in the libraries for your brands? How do you put logos in? And how do you make templates with Premiere Pro for shorts or for videos? And we're gonna do like a tall template that has their logo and their colors on there. I just keep finding that I do this stuff, so I'm gonna dive right into it. So. Um, so here's basically what we've done is I've just recorded a live video with one of my clients and I want to show it to you. So it's just a really basic video. And what I know to be true is that when we throw this onto Facebook and Instagram, I'd like to have a title, a top title and a bottom title. In fact, I'll show you a little bit about what that might look like. Um, well, I have it in the movies here. Just so you know what we're doing, I like to just set up whether it might be a tall video, you know, that takes up a ton of space in Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn um, or Square or TikTok or whatever that is. So, you know, we might want to have like a top title to your video, the video, and then a logo on the If you're a small business owner in the Twin Cities, we are packed. Not that this is perfect, right? There's smarter, more interesting people out there, but I'm going to show you how you can set up a template in a library so that you can just repeatedly do this in Adobe Premiere and you don't have to create it every time. So what I've got here is I have my customer. Now we, I'm gonna show you like five programs, but let's just assume you have a color palette, okay? So we have a color palette for our customer here. Um, and so I'm gonna be grabbing these, these hex numbers. I'm gonna put them in as libraries. So it's kind of annoying. We do almost all of our stuff in Figma. Figma is a UI UX designer compared to Adobe XD. So let's just know on this left corner here, you can't see it, but I'm gonna be grabbing these hex numbers from these colors. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build out my, my brand library using Adobe Illustrator. So if you don't have this installed, you're gonna install Adobe Illustrator, and then we're gonna be hopping into Adobe Premiere and you can do the same thing. But the first step is to make sure that your Adobe Cloud is all synced up. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open a file. It doesn't matter on the file at all. And what I'm trying to do is get into the libraries. But real quick, I'm gonna come in here um, and there's, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to do, are, I'm trying to do blocks. I'm gonna make a couple of squares here and I'm gonna fill them with, um, well, first we'll, we'll go this, and I don't care, I don't want a stroke on this because we're gonna fill this with a color and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this off, I'm gonna go none, the one with the, the red line on it, and these none. And essentially what's gonna happen here is we're gonna fill this, we'll fill it with something other than white real quick, just while I'm looking. So it's gonna be green. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna get my first blue color and I'm gonna grab it and we're gonna go like this and we are gonna do this. So real quick, we're gonna grab a color. If I hold command or option when I do this and click option and click, it allows me to make a copy of it real quick. I love that command, it's one of the best. So what we're doing here is we're just starting with the colors and then we're gonna add this into our libraries and name the library and then that gives us access to this across all the Adobe products. So. It's weird though, for some reason, you can't build a library very well in Premiere. I, I can't, at least I'm sure some of you are gonna be like, yes, you can, and that's totally fine. But by building this library out, um, we can also put like logos in here and graphics, and we can access them into Adobe Premiere, Adobe Illustrator. We can do it in Adobe Photoshop, and we only have to do it once, which is really nice, and it adds to efficiency. The other thing that I've seen is we've got like, um, we've got a little team here, and it allows everybody to get them. So, all right, so now I've got all my colors. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go up to window. If you don't see this, you're gonna go to libraries, Elemento P libraries, okay? So here's my libraries. Now your libraries are synced up. So you're gonna have like some recent ones or all libraries. And what I'm gonna do is I like to make one for my client. Now I know this client's gonna be around for a long time. Um, so I'm gonna go create new library and I'm gonna name it. So mock accounting, fantastic accountant out of Houston. Texas area, CPA does taxes, bookkeeping. All right, so now here's the deal. I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna grab this, and now this doesn't have a, a, a stroke around it, there's no line around it, it's just fill of this color. And I'm gonna select it, and then while it's over here, I'm gonna hit plus, and I'm gonna go fill color, and that's color number one. And I'm gonna go fill color, this is number two. And by doing this, I don't, I don't have to screw around quite as much. It makes life a lot easier, and I do not have to play with things. So I'm gonna do that with each one of these colors. And I just love that. It's super easy. The other thing we can do is we can, I, I just exported this, uh, I know I've got this. Oh, where is it now, there it is. 
So I've got this PNG file, which is his logo. I'm gonna throw that in there as well. And so now I've got a whole set of, now this doesn't always work perfect, but we've got this. So now if I go back to my libraries, you know, I can jump in and I could go to Asnani, there's his colors. I can go to um, fitness taxes. Uh, those don't have any, but I can get in here. And, and you can even upload things in your libraries to, sh to throw in there. I've got colors for, and I've screwed this up. I would stay organized about this. Just name it as your company names that you have. And then they're accessible everywhere. So what I'm going to do real quick is I, I don't know if you have to save it. I'm just going to save it for the heck of it. Um, so colors, mock. <clears throat> so the reason why we did that though is not really to be using it in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to be done with Adobe Illustrator. I don't really care anymore. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to jump over here into my Adobe Premiere. So this is Adobe Premiere. It is February 10th of 2023. And we got a couple different versions of it going out, but uh, I don't know, whatever one's on February 10th, 2023. So here's what I'm going to do real quick. Um, let's just act like we made a... So the first thing I do is I just drop a video file down here um, to get my seat, my settings right. And then the second thing I'm doing, I want this to have a title and a logo. Is this the most elegant thing in the world? No, but what it's meant to do is it's meant to be an extension that social media is an extension of your website. And this is a video, it's a one-liner. This communicates who we are, all sorts of crap. So what I do once I do that is I go to sequence settings and I change it so that it's square. So this was 3840 by 2160. Now it's 3840 by 3840, I hit okay. Oh, are you sure you're gonna do that? And then when I drop the video down there, it's like, hey, do you wanna change it again? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be playing around. We're gonna create a graphic, an essential graphic that will be used in my libraries and I could use it anywhere. And I, and I never have, I can change it. And so essentially what I do here is in this other line, I'm gonna just start and I'm gonna hit rectangle tool. And I'm gonna come over and just draw a rectangle. Now I already did that. And what that's done is up here, if you go up into your, your settings up here, you might see effect control. We wanna get into the essential graphics tool. So we would click on the graphic, go to essential um, tool. Now what I did was I took this and I hit command C and pasted it and copied it. I named one and I made a second box. So then I came over here and I made a second box, and now I have two boxes here that I've just put and uh, hit Command Z to go back to where I was. So I have one called top bar, one called bottom bar. Now over here, I'm gonna go to libraries, and as I go like this, I should have mock accounting, and boom, there are my colors that I had. So I'm gonna go to this top bar, and I'm gonna grab this color, and maybe I want this to be like that gray. And then the bottom one, I want it to be maybe that dark blue, that might look really nice because the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that logo. Now, this is something that's kind of stupid. For some reason, you can't drop that in. I wish they would fix that. What I'm going to do though, is I'm gonna go back into my regular library. I'm gonna double click here. And I'm gonna grab that PNG and I'm gonna drag it over here into this box where it's the essential graphics, okay? So I put my file, and you wanna make sure you output a file that's big enough. And I'm gonna stick it right there, whoop, and now, I can play with it and I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna hold shift while I push So I grabbed it and then I held shift and I moved it down. Um, I'm gonna have to move that above the bottom bar and then I'm gonna do a little bit of, now I'm notorious for screwing this up. So we're gonna go like, there we go. Just gonna grow it just a little bit. And then I'm, you know what else? I, I think I want a label on there. You know, again, is this the most elegant thing in the world? No, but I want, things to be clear. Now mock accounting is good. Um, the other thing that I'd wanna do is I can't really remember what my what the font was I had on there. Where was my font? My font is, that is not a font. Um, I'm gonna find the font here. And the font is going to be man rope. I don't know if I've got that in Adobe. We'll find out. I hate how Adobe's got this. Um, but what, here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go new. So if I hit this new layer and I'm gonna go text. Now I got a text up here, I'm gonna throw this up there and I'm gonna say um, small business tax and accounting, Houston, Texas. Okay, now we're gonna edit this a little bit. So that looks like crap, right? It's small, it's white. I'm big and white. Um, we're gonna grab that. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I wanna center it, but that doesn't center the whole thing. We gotta get the paragraph centered. 
I'm gonna see if I've got Monrope. I don't. That's just dumb. Um, what's it? Avenir. Avenir. That's kind of like that, isn't it? Avenir. La Media. That looks good. All right, so we'll go medium. Avenir. Maybe we'll go like black. We'll go Avenir. I might change this, but uh, if I scroll down now, I can make this text a little bigger. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hit align center. And then here's what's kind of cool is I'm going to go like this. We're going to grab this up. Oh, I'm going to open my library back up and I'm going to go back to mock accounting. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to go like that. And boom. I don't know if this looks that good. We'll see. Maybe I should. Yeah, that, that did not look right. Maybe I'll do like poppins or let's go grab. So again, I'm going to have to go back into this, um, into the essential. You might click out of some things and you have to go back into the essential graphics. Okay. So real quick, we're going to move. I, I'm going to build this little graphic out. Um, like get proactive tax reduction planning, or maybe I'll say like Houston's Houston's top small business tax reduction tax strategist. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, that sounds cool, doesn't it? Um, I'm I am gonna grab that text real quick. I don't know if we're gonna do man rope. I'm gonna pause it real quick because who cares what I choose? All right, so I've gone in here and I've got everything kind of arranged and, and done the way I want it to be. So now I've got text on the top. I've got his logo right here. Now I don't want to have to redo this every time. So look at this. There's a cool feature here where we're gonna save it. So once you got it, I'm gonna make it the size of this. Well, when it, when it's time to do the actual, holy cow. When it's time to, man, we talked for eight minutes. I don't know if we'll do this whole thing. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So all of these things, the text, the top bar, the logo, and the bottom bar are all under this one graphic, okay? Now watch this, if I right click or two finger click, and I go down to this little tool here, um, there's something really cool that I gotta remember where it went. Export as motion graphics template, okay? So we're gonna make a template out of this, but not just any template, a library-based template. So I'm gonna go mock accounting. So destination is going to be into my, in here and I'm gonna to go to mock accounting. There's my library, okay? So I'm gonna go name mock accounting square videos. Okay, and I'm gonna put in my customer name, mock accounting, um, and Warn me if this fonts aren't available in Google Fonts. Yeah, okay, warn me if this motion graphic, okay. That sounds good. And then I'm gonna hit okay, whoop. And it's gonna save it, it's gonna push it up into the magic cloud. <laughs> and it's gonna be in my Adobe. So I can open this up anywhere and I can do this graphic. And it actually loads pretty quick. So no matter what I'm doing, you can create these templates and then export, export them as a Mogurt. Now I did a really simple one, but that's how you export a Mogurt graphic um, as a template and it can actually go into your libraries, which is pretty cool. So, uh, all right, we'll show you what it looks like now. All right, so now I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. I just made a new, I, I went up to one of my videos and I right clicked and said, new sequence from clip. Boom, so now we got the tax return one. And I'm gonna show you where this actually is. You're gonna come into your libraries. Whoop, and there it is. We just drop her down in here. And now it looks goofy. I'm gonna go in and actually change my sequence settings to match what I want it to be, which will be 3840 by 3840. And what you'll see is I can easily edit this thing and it will change and look really nice and, and I can adjust it to the length of my video. Now I'm not doing anything fancy in here, but all I do is come up to Essential Graphics and we can say this and, it, and I know that this is like, uh, you know, Houston's small business taxes. Get your taxes done right. Houston small biz CPA. Boom. And now that thing is just there. Hopefully that helps. Good luck. God bless.